Lesson 193 in A Course in Miracles All things are lessons God would have me learn. God does not know of learning, yet his will extends to what he does not understand, in that he wills the happiness his son inherited of him be undisturbed, eternal, and forever gaining scope, eternally expanding in the joy of full creation, and eternally open and wholly limitless in him. This is his will, and thus his will provides the means to guarantee that it is done. God sees no contradictions, yet his son believes he sees them. Thus, he has a need for one who can correct his erring sight and give him vision that will lead him back to where perception ceases. God does not perceive at all, yet it is he who gives the means by which perception is made true and beautiful enough to let the light of heaven shine upon it. It is he who answers what his son would contradict and keeps his sinlessness forever safe. God offers no forgiveness, for he knows no sin is possible. And yet he let his holy law of love be given form in which it can be offered to the world and he created one who could perceive what form this law should take to be received by every mind which had forgotten it as it exists in heaven and in God. Thus he encompasses what he could not see or understand by giving of his love and making answer to a question which, though meaningless, his son had asked of him. The one whom God created to replace the foolish thought which crept into the mind of his most holy son with peace and joy fulfills his function now. He redirects each lesson you would teach in hate to one in which forgiveness enters and return the hate to love so that the fear is gone. And now guilt cannot enter for its source has been excluded as the purpose of the lesson has been changed to guiltlessness the hatred has been rooted out by love. These are the lessons God would have you learn. His will reflects them all, and they reflect his loving kindness to the son he loves. Each lesson has a central thought, the same in all of them. The form alone is changed, with different circumstances and events, with different characters and different themes, apparent but not real. They are the same in fundamental content. It is this, forgive, and you will see this differently. Certain it is that all distress does not appear to be but unforgiveness, yet that is the content underneath the form. It is this sameness that makes learning sure, because the lesson is so simple that it cannot be rejected in the end. No one can hide forever from a truth so very obvious that it appears in countless forms and yet is recognized as easily in all of them if one but wants to see the simple lesson there. Give and you will see this differently. These are the words the Holy Spirit speaks in all your tribulations, all your pain, all suffering regardless of its forms. These are the words with which temptation ends and guilt, abandoned, is revered no more. These are the words which end the dream of sin and rid the mind of fear. These are the words by which salvation comes to all the world. Shall we not learn to say these words when we are tempted to believe that pain is real and death becomes our choice instead of life? Shall we not learn to say these words when we have understood their power to release all minds from bondage? These are words which give you power over all events which seem to have been given power over you. You see them rightly when you hold these words in full awareness and do not forget these words apply to everything you see or any brother looks upon amiss. How can you tell when you are seeing wrong or someone else is failing to perceive the lesson he should learn? Does pain seem real in the perception? If it does, 
be sure the lesson is not learned, and there remains an unforgiveness, hiding in the mind which sees the pain through eyes the mind directs. God would not have you suffer thus. He would help you forgive yourself. His son does not remember who he is, and God would have him not forget his love and all the gifts his love brings with it. Would you now renounce your own salvation? Would you fail to learn the simple lessons heaven's teachers set forth before you that all pain may disappear and God may be remembered by his Son? All things are lessons God would have you learn. He would not leave an unforgiving thought without correction, nor one thorn or nail to hurt his sacred Son in any way. He would ensure his holy rest remain untroubled and serene, without a care, in an eternal home which cares for him, and he would have all tears be wiped away, with none remaining yet unshed, and none but waiting their appointed time to fall. For God has willed that laughter should replace each one, and that his son be free again. We will attempt today to overcome a thousand seeming obstacles to peace in just one day. Let mercy come to you more quickly. Do not try to hold it off another day, another minute, or another instant. Time was made for this. Use it today for what its purpose is. Morning and night, devote what time you can to serve its proper aim, and do not let the time be less than meets your deepest need. Give all you can and give a little more, for now we would arise in haste and go unto our Father's house. We have been gone too long, and we would linger here no more, and as we practice, let us think about all things we save to settle by ourselves and kept apart from healing. Let us give them all to him who knows the way to look upon them, so they all will disappear. Truth is his message. Truth his teaching is. His are the lessons God would have us learn. Each hour spend a little time today and in the days to come in practicing the lesson in forgiveness in the form established for the day, and try to give it application to the happenings the hour brought, so the next one is free of the one before. The chains of time are easily unloosened in this way. Let no one hour cast its shadow on the one that follows, and when that one goes, let everything that happened in its course go with it. Thus, Will you remain unbound, in peace eternal, in the world of time? This is the lesson God would have you learn. There is a way to look on everything that lets it be to you another step to him and to salvation of the world. To all that speaks of terror, answer thus, I will forgive and this will disappear. To every apprehension, every care and every form of suffering, Repeat these self-same words. In them you hold the key that opens heaven's gate and brings the love of God the Father down to earth at last to raise it up to heaven. God will take this final step himself. Do not deny the little steps he asks you to take to him. Close your eyes upon the world. All things are lessons God would have me learn. Whatever is in your mind right now, any unforgiveness, anything that appears to be distracting you from your practice, from your forgiveness, from being at peace, bring it to mind and say, I will forgive and this will disappear. I will forgive and this will disappear and bring it into your heart. Bring it into the peace of God and just observe it. I will forgive and this will disappear and watch it disappear. Any problems or issues or things you're dealing with right now or you think are troublesome, 
anything concerning you, I will forgive and this will disappear. Bring it into your heart. Bring it into the truth, to the light in you, the eternal light in you. All things are lessons God would have me learn. See yourself now, throughout the day, bringing in every hour, everything to your heart, everything to this eternal light. I will forgive and this will disappear. Make this firm commitment to do this practice every day. Make a firm commitment now that you will do this. Don't just say you'll do it or think you'll do it. Know that this is your release. This is the way you can step out of fear. How simple is it? I will forgive and this will disappear. And every hour you bring everything into this space. And you have a fresh and clean hour to go into devoid of everything that came in the past with a pure purpose without fear, without doubt knowing that this is your real purpose in this world your true function is to forgive the world bring it all back into your heart each hour see yourself doing this, feel the commitment Feel the certainty that this is what you want to do. Keep bringing everything back in to your heart now. I will forgive and this will disappear.
You have a state, a life that you would attain that is eternal, that is ever expanding, that is full of joy, that is complete, wholly limitless. You are never sad, you are never unhappy. Nothing can ever truly go wrong. This is your inheritance, which contradicts everything in this world. This is why you came. This is what you are here for. You will forgive and everything will disappear. What would you want to keep? Everything here leads to suffering, sooner or later. Would you not commit your entire life to knowing this truth, that you are an eternal being, every moment committed to the truth? Or would you wander on in hopelessness, again and again trying to find something to make you feel happy, another partner, another thing, another relationship of something, another holiday? Your happiness is here, and it's in you right now. You have it within you. It never left your eternal happiness. All things are lessons God would have you learn. You see that everything here is for forgiveness. No matter what happens, what you perceive to be happening, your judgments, your thoughts about yourself or anyone else, you would forgive and this would disappear. Maybe it will stay in form for a little while, or for some years. Maybe it will be a character, but your perception of them will be completely changed, and of everything and everyone, and you will see them truly, as they truly are. Bring in now all your thoughts that somewhere else, in something else, your happiness is. If you just have this other thing, this other person, this other relationship, whatever you think your happiness is in, bring it back now. I would forgive and this will disappear. This is my lesson. Forgiveness offers me everything I want. Eternal satisfaction. Would you accept it now? All things are lessons God would have me learn. Reflect God's kindness, God's goodness, God's peace out into the world by bringing all of the darkness into your heart and let it be dissolved. Everything you think will help you or hinder you, every upset, I will forgive and this will disappear.
forgive and you will see this world differently. The Holy Spirit holds the real world out to you now. Would you accept it? Or would you rather keep the pain? You have two choices. Pain or release. Heaven or hell. Pleasure or truth. The only real pleasure comes from doing God's work. And your work is to forgive the world what it did not do. I would forgive and this will disappear. Forgiveness offers me everything I want. Every pain, every suffering, bring it back into your heart. I will forgive and this will disappear. Just watch it dissolve. No matter how difficult, how painful it seems, it will dissolve in this light. Just observe, do not react. Observe, bring it all in, pains in the body, pains in another body, thoughts of death, thoughts of suffering outside yourself, inside yourself, bring it all in. I would forgive and this will disappear. Remember, everything that is painful is but unforgiveness. It is your unwillingness to see it as it is and to still want something in this world more than your father's will because you think it's going to give you something because you forgot who you are. Bring it all back in every hour Bring every pain, every thought that is not purely happy, bring it into your heart. I would forgive and this will disappear. Your real heart. You can even see it in the heart space. Feel the lightness, feel the ease with which it dissolves. Let it stay for as long as it wishes. But you will just watch. You just observe. You know that everything is dissolved in the light because darkness cannot remain where the light is. All things are lessons God would have me learn. I will forgive and this will disappear.